Now, Japan is one of the leading countries in the development of robot technology. Robots are widely used in the country, which sees high wages, labor shortages, and a shrinking and aging population. They're also being created for entertainment, as our Japan bureau chief Michio Ishida finds out. Artificial intelligence engineers in Japan are aiming to develop the next best thing since canned laughter. We programmed applause to fill a concert hall. And listen. These robots are using their vocal cords to create human-like sounds. Wow, have a look at these artificial arms or this man-made ankle to support the physically impaired. It's Tokyo Designers Week, an annual showcase of the country's most innovative art, culture, architecture and design. And many exhibitors are using this creative platform to showcase the next generation of robotic technology. MMI is a project of musical mechanical instruments. This project was started and it was finally started to start. But the guitar is not a band, so I'm going to bring the drum to the drum and I'm going to do a session. For now, the instrument's melodic range is limited, but Mr. Kimura set his sights on producing an entire band of robo musicians that performs programmed songs. Takeshi Hakamada leads another team that's shooting for the stars, is developing robots for outer space, and the $20 billion it wants to win at an international lunar expedition competition will surely come in handy. Here's what the team has developed so far. A body made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, light and super strong. Wheels that have been built to withstand extraterrestrial terrain, but from a still top secret material. And a built-in camera with a 360 degree view, the eyes and memory of future expeditions into space. And, uh, so we are trying to reduce the uh, weight mass as much as possible. So this rover is just weight 2 kilograms, and this is 8 kilograms. So uh, usually the garment of robots weigh uh, 100 kilograms or much more than that. But robots are also taking on a more personal and emotive function. Visitors here are waiting to meet the companion of the future. Hello, what's your name? I'm Asna. For Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the development of robots is one of the key areas of his growth strategy. It's not only to export robots, but to also resolve the labor shortage problem here in Japan. Now, according to the new Energy and Industrial Technology Organization, now this industry is expected to triple by 2025 to 49 billion dollars. Michio Ishida, Channel News Asia, Tokyo.